Right guys, today we'll try to model a Chanel de Parfum in Adobe Dimension and let's get started. I already have my dimension open. I'm going to click on the cube in the basic shape. In the basic shape. I'll adjust the cube from, from the others. Scale it a bit like so. Then I'll duplicate it and move it aside. Then I'm going to bevel the first cube. To do that, if you go to the property section and on the last part, enable the bevel. Decrease the radius to 0.4. Right. And you're going to do the same thing, enable bevel for the second cube. But I will reduce the size like 0.8. Then increase the radius. I'll decrease it to 1. I will scale it as well. This is going to be our inner object. I'll scale it a bit more. Like so. Like so. Right. Now we are going to give it a cup. We are going to add a lid to it. And to do so, uh, let's click on the round bottle. Yep. We, we will use the base. We will use the bottle. Uh, so we, should, we, we are going to delete the base like so. And we are going to place the cup on our on our uh, perfume but before then let's adjust it a bit let's adjust the lid a bit i'm going to click on the safety ring and bring it uh, downwards a bit to match our object like so and for the lid i will increase i'll increase it from um from the y axis like so and then bring it almost down like that yeah <clears throat> yeah then all you have to do now is add our material and i'm going to add glass first to our first cube uh -huh. now check the preview you see it's empty glass it's just empty there's nothing in there we are going to add our second material to the second object. Before then, let's bring it inside. Try to position it a bit and scale or adjust it a bit like that. Bring it up, pause. Right. Now I'll be adding a glass, a wax material. Then I'll remove the roughness i'll take the roughness out completely and i'll give it a name uh, i'll give it a different color like so now you can check the preview you see we are creating something we are we are getting up to somewhere so i'll for for the outer layer outer cube um i'll give it another material another color Let's use this for now. Yeah, the color lines in. Like so. Right. We are almost somewhere. Now we are going to adjust it a bit. We are going to adjust our materials a bit. Let's try on our first glass. Let's go to the lucency, translucency, and on the downwards part, the interior section, interior color section, we're going to change that as well and bring it to downwards. Um, bring it to almost blue or dark blue. Let's check the preview. Right. We are going to do the same thing for the second cube. 
you click on the queue then you go to the translucency section on our material you will click and then it will um, change the color of the interior I'll be giving it a quite lighter color mm. let's change the wax itself wax color itself it looks too deep right now you're almost done and what you're going to do is apply our logo to it and you are done good to go to apply our logo this is a basic shape we are going to convert it to a standard model and to do so on the action panel the last but not the least you are going to click on this icon to convert it to a standard model you click on that now you'll be able to place your logo safely on our object so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to use this blue channel yes blue blue d channel 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 all right let's scale it a bit and adjust bring it up pose a bit and i'm going to increase the metallic decrease the roughness uh -huh. now we are going to put them in put all of the all of this in a, in a folder let's select all of them shift select all then I'll click on the folder to give them a name now let's give them a name uh, channel one Number one, right? Okay. Uh, on the on the lid, let's try an increase. Uh, let's okay. Let's try and increase the color a bit. Adjust the color a bit to a darker side. And for the safety ring, we are just going to apply a metallic effect, a metallic material. You are good to go. Alright, let's check a preview. Try a cool angle position. Okay. Now what we're going to do next is we are going to duplicate all our objects and the reason why I put them in a folder so you click on this get get another fold another folder with the same object click then you move it aside you have another one you move that aside as well then you give it a name Oops. Channel three. All right, let's try a cool angle for the camera. Let's try a cool angle for the camera, like so. Check it out. Give it quiet position. All right, cool. Now what we're going to do is add another material, another object. I'm going to choose a beach towel. Mm -hmm. Then on the material section, I'll just use a so patterned wood yeah check the toggle the list scroll down a bit see pistol pattern wood. I'm going to choose that yeah and we have a kind of cool leather material 
Now all you have to do is position our camera well, find a good place for our camera. Then we're going to adjust the global lighting and the intensity and we are good to render. And we're done. Okay. Let's do a little bit of adjustment. Like so. Let's check out the preview. Right. We have it ready. Almost done. Let's see, let's see. Okay, now what we'll be doing is we are going to give it a focus. And to do so, make sure uh, your focus is enabled in the preference section. Click Ctrl K and scroll to the downward part, the last part, and enable focus on preview. Yep. Enable focus preview on canvas. And you go to your camera, you click on the camera over here, then enable focus. Right now the focus is set to the first object. Let's see how it works. Now the only thing remaining is to find a cool position for the camera and you are good to go. That is what is giving you a headache, the camera section. Okay, I think we are cool. Let's adjust the global lighting for a while. So I'm going to click on this rotation. And adjust the intensity. Right, let's shoot it from the down part and see if it's okay. Or we can simply put one down. We can simply put one down. Radiuses, put it 90 degrees, then we rotate it like so, bring it somewhere here, oops, it's not working, let's do it like that. Right, uh, I think let you should, you should render it and then get it, get done with it. Okay, I think it's cool. I'm going to bookmark my camera, click on this object, click on the plus button here, and you are good. You are good. Uh, I forgot my focus again, so let's. I'll focus somewhere here, or we can choose to focus it on this one. Yeah, so it get a cool. Okay, guys, what we are going to do is we are going to leave our camera session like so, and we are going to render. Let's see if we can adjust this as well. Okay, uh, I forgot one thing, the link, I think we should, oh, sorry, 
on the material section and if you reduce the metallic quite a bit oh damn you need to do this for every the lid and reduce the metallic a bit to, to get a darker color Alright, I think uh, I'm making the tutorial long. I'm just going to leave it like so and and render it. But I know you can do you can do better than me. Yep. Sure. So uh, let's go to the render. Before that, let's save our file. Let's save it to document and then choose show. No problem. Save our stuff. And we are good to render. I'm going to render it straight ahead. I'm going to choose the law. It has a name, the origin name. Um, I'll use the current view. Leave the same name as I saved it. Then I'm not going to edit it further in Photoshop, so I will choose in PNG. Now the next thing is just to render it. Guys, I'll come back to you when it's done. I know it will, it will be in a few moments, a few minutes. I'm going to get back to you. Alright guys, this is my final render from a medium session. I did the low, I did um, the low version, it was too noisy so I did a medium one just to end up just to end up with this and I wanted to end the tutorial so I'm going to leave it like this and leave you at that thank you for watching it's always been you peace